Greetings folks, it's time for another episode of Past Planes and in this video I'm going to concentrate on all the race wings that came out about this time which was about 12 months ago I suppose. I quite like wings, uh, I'm, they're not my favourite sort of plane, I prefer a sort of a normal four channel plane. If you want a fast, durable FPV platform then wings are really really good. If you want to race around with your mates that's uh, probably the perfect platform for it too. They can take a crash quite well uh, and usually just the wings will pop off or your fins will break off or something like that and you can just fix it up, get back to flying pretty quickly. The downside of wings is that there's often not a lot of space to fit all your gear in the centre fuselage. So wings are very sensitive to centre of gravity because they haven't got a lot of uh, length I suppose, fuselage length. There's not a lot of play with where you can put the battery uh, to get the centre of gravity right. If the centre of gravity is wrong on a wing it'll just fall out of the sky, you will have no control at all. They often get the yaw wobbles or uh, when you're going along fast you'll see the, the wings sort of wobbling side to side, especially when there's a bit of wind around, it's uh, not such a problem in calm weather but uh, you get these sort of vortexes shedding off each uh, wing tip causing this, this wobble and the bouncing up and down as well. Not a problem with just flying line of sight but if you're flying with FPV goggles it can be quite disconcerting. Uh, if you're trying to slot through gates and things like that then any sort of wobble is going to make it a lot harder. And it's, it's not so good for uh, onboard video recording as well because you just can't watch a video that's wobbling side to side all the time. The first wing I got was the S800 that I talked about in the previous video and that was a really interesting wing. It's sort of unique, uh, not like any other wings on the market had sort of moulded fuselage areas to put um, cameras and FPV gear in. It was quite good really. Black EPP I suppose it was. Uh, it did have a little bit of the up and down, a little, little bit of the wobble so it just it was pretty good. It was a pioneer but it just wasn't perfect. The next one I got was the Tech One FPV 900 wing. That was sort of like a, a marriage between a, a quad technology and wing technology. It had a carbon fibre centre section, a novel idea, and held the wings on with spars going through the centre section and uh, the wings were just held on by magnets so that they'd pop off in a crash. Very interesting idea. It made for nice fast and adaptable wings I suppose. I didn't really like the carbon fibre centre section. It's all a bit sharp and sort of draggy I think. It sort of solved some problems, providing a bit of space to, to mount your gear. Uh, but it just wasn't an elegant solution, I didn't think. The FPV 900 was a very good wing. It was reasonably smooth, very fast. It did require a bit of gluing, a bit of, a bit of assembly, and they provided some reinforcing tape to put on the leading edge, which is a very nice touch. And soon after that, Tech One came up with the uh, second version of that wing. They called it the FPV 2, which was uh, it's quite quite a change from the previous version. It still had the carbon fibre fuselage section and the wings held on by magnets but the wing was a lot slimmer in cord and a lot slimmer in uh, thickness as well uh, and it was made from a really really nice uh, really fine grained EPP and being a slim sort of narrow cord wing it was extremely fast but it also meant that it had a wicked stall characteristic if you pushed too hard into a turn it would just break away and spin into the ground. If you try to do a, a loop with qu not quite enough speed you could stall in the middle of a loop and uh, hit the ground again. I found it a bit more difficult to fly but it was the fastest of the wings that I've tried. Very very fast, very serious. These wings sort of end up a little bit heavy uh, because they're designed to run on uh, 4S 1800 or 2200 batteries, reasonably heavy batteries. Uh, so they fly fast, they land fast as well. And there was another version from Tech One, the Tech One uh, 600, which is very similar to the FPV2, but just a 600 millimeter micro wing size, I guess. Uh, and that is a lot of fun, super, super fast, wobbles and bounces around like crazy. So it's not a good one for trying to slot through narrow gates or, or doing aerial photography at all. Uh, good fun, but yeah, too much wobbles for me. But a radical little wing for going flat out. One of the alternatives was the Esheen Fury wing, which was a very nice wing. Uh, same sort of carbon fibre fuselage. It flew very well, but it is supplied with a very brittle prop, which broke a prop every time I came in for a landing. So as soon as you 
change the prop to something a little bit tougher, uh, it flew much better. Uh, it, it was reasonably heavy and again it comes into land very fast. The Fury wing was a little bit different because it didn't have the wing winglets on the end, on the tips of the wing, it had it sort of in near the fuselage. Having the vertical stabilizers in closer to the fuselage, uh, it meant that they didn't have to be glued onto the wing tips, so they're a little bit less prone to being knocked off in a hard landing. Uh, and these just screwed on from un underneath, um, which made assembly very easily as well. Good little wing. After that, I was sent this wing, the Sonic Model AR, which has turned out to be my favorite of all the wings. There's a little bit more angle in the sweep. I don't know whether that makes it more stable or what it does, but uh, this is, I think, the most stable, the smoothest of all the uh, fast FPV wings that I've tried. Very easy assembly. Lots of space inside for all your gear. Really well thought out space too. You've got a little sort of moulded pod here for your FPV camera that fits in really well. It comes with different fronts that you just magnet fit on for different cameras. Uh, good space in there for the camera. It does need the camera for uh, balance. Uh, plenty of space for a 2200. 3S, 1800, 4S, whatever you want in there, and space for stabilizers and receivers and uh, transmitters and things like that. I've actually just got my transmitter stuck on the top with the wires coming through there. Just a really nice wing that flies beautifully. It's the smoothest, as I said, my favorite, and my friends agree too. They all seem to be getting these race wings. One problem I found uh, trying to chase other people around, the dark wing is actually very hard to see silhouetted against uh, the horizon or trees or things like that so it is very hard to see other wings in the sky on FPV but yep this is my favourite FPV fast wing. Another wing that came along at that time was the ZOHD orbit wing which is a very unique design, super lightweight because it was sort of hollow foam, built up foam moulded sort of. Came with a stabiliser which works very well. I've actually given that wing to a friend of mine who has a bit of flying experience with uh, Bixler style planes but had never flown a wing before. He picked it up, flew it straight away, no problems at all. The stabiliser, the launch mode in the stabiliser helps really, really well for beginners to launch it. Uh, and He just flies around in stabilised mode and works very well for a beginner. So that's uh, sort of a lightweight, uh, a bit slower than the other wings. Hasn't got as much grunt, it's a bit more draggy. It can get up and go reasonably fast, but it starts to wobble a bit when you get going quick. Uh, but for a stabilised sort of beginner's introduction to race wings, the ZOHD orbit wing is a good one. Uh, next up, I guess it's a wing, it's the sweep forward wing, the ZOHD Dart, which I don't have anymore. Uh, it's meant to come with a stabiliser. My version was like a pre-release pre one, I suppose. Didn't have a stabiliser, so I had to fly it manually and I found it a real handful until I dialed it down, tamed it down quite a lot, then it was fun to fly. Very small, uh, a bit hard to keep track of in the sky I found, a bit disorienting with the swept forward wings. I imagine with a stabiliser it be, would be a lot of fun. One thing about these ZOHD models is that they all just click together and are held together by magnets and the servos make the connection just by clicking the wing into place. It's all very, very clever technology and will only get better as time goes on, I think. And then we come to the monster Zephyr Z2. Uh, this is a serious, heavy, 1.5 metre wingspan, fast, weight-carrying FPV wing, made famous by Trappy and his uh, epic dives down the mountain on FPV, very, very early days of FPV. Those are the most stunning videos around, I thought. This is a big, heavy, serious plane. Uh, reasonably difficult to launch because of the weight. I think it's up to about two kilograms or something like that. You need big 4S batteries in the nose to make it operate. Uh, if you want to do fast, long range FPV, uh, this is the perfect wing. It comes as a kit, so there's a lot of building to do and laminating and uh, Deciding where you want to put your own components. Serious wing. This is a this is a workhorse. This wing. It's not a sort of a fun little slap it together race wing. This is something you would build if you're serious about long range FPV. And at the opposite end of the spectrum, there was the DW Hobby Super A wing, which was oh, kind of interesting. It was a bit like an old school 
uh, kit build, I suppose. There was a plywood skeleton that you had to pop out of the, the sheets and glue together. Way too many components, way too much gluing together. And then you, you'd put this sort of floppy EPP cover over it. It was one of the flexiest um, and ugliest looking wings I've ever had. Surprisingly, it flew beautifully. As soon as you tried to fly fast, it would start fluttering and flexing and you'd you, you know, have less control. If you flew it around slowly on a calm day, it was an absolute delight, actually. And uh, although it was a, a painful build, um, it was a fun plane. Now, of all of these wings, I have only kept the Sonic Model AR wing, my favourite by far. I still have the, the big Zephyr, I don't use it very much. All the other wings have been um, swapped for other planes, sold or given to friends. Alright, so that's about it for this episode. I have had a couple of other wings, one that I made myself and the Toro Slow Wing, but I'll talk about them in the future. So if you want a platform for fast flying, FPV, dodging in and out of trees, chasing your mates around, then race wings are good fun. That's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.